Hello everyone watching. My name is Richard Hardin. I'm 31 years old and I work as... <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing? Your name is Richard Hardin? That means your name Get is out. Dick Hardin. You think my name's funny? You think <laughs> my name's Hardin funny because I'm called that's Richard Hardin? Name. You think that's a funny name? Get out. Get out of my office. Get out. Get, get out. Hey, secretary, get him out of my office. I don't know what... I got my rights. I got yes. My, rights. my name is Richard Hardin, which translates to Dick Hardin. Anybody at home watching this, do not wear that name out. I swear on my grandmother's grave, if you make fun of my name in those comments or in this video or anybody in your friends or family hears about you making fun of my name, I have connections. I'll find you. And let's just say you fell down a flight of stairs by an accident, okay? Because no one's going to make fun of my name. Nobody except my mom. Because my mom told me that I didn't, I couldn't get this job here because my name was Hardin Dick. And when I put that on the resume, nobody laughed because they knew it was a stupid, okay. We're not talking about my personal life or my personal anguishes that I have inside me about the name I was given at birth. Anyways, I'm 31 years old. I am uh, I'm a man of uh, divorces of uh, about 17 now. Yes, I've, um, you name it. It was uh, everything they'll tell you, all my exes, all my ex-wives, they'll, they'll tell you. It was, uh, I forgot the anniversary. I didn't remember to leave the toilet seat up. I didn't bring home the milk in time. I decided to get drunk with my friends because it was football night. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's been pretty rough. I uh, I've had a lot of divorces in the past. I um I like to think of myself as a nice guy, but a lot of my ex-wives will tell you that I'm probably not the best uh, best uh, man in bed. I probably don't perform that well in bed. They said I have a hard time getting my hopes up or something up. I don't. I wasn't really paying attention to what they would tell me most of the time. I uh, was busy focusing on. And boarded stuff, you know, like my job. But I don't think any of them understood that. And you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I think I understand now why they left me. Shit. Well, it's better late than never. Anyways, let's get back to the topic at hand. I got this job at Vogue about two and a half years ago. And I've been interviewing some of the most attractive, well-informed, educated models that I've ever met. Including video game characters. That's right. I've actually interviewed video game characters. I know. I didn't think they were real. But it turns out they are real. So anybody out there at home playing their video games thinking, Oh, I bet those video game characters don't exist. They do. I've interviewed them. Some of the most popular video game characters I've interviewed. I interviewed big stars from the 90s like Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Lara Croft from the Tomb Raider series. Um, I even done interviews with Duke Nukem back when he was relevant. Now, we don't talk about him. We, we, we don't talk about the Dukester. He, uh, he's, he, he is not, he's not, he's not in, uh, he's not in a good spot anymore. But I've interviewed a lot of famous video game characters. I have done hundreds of interviews in the past. Um, I've done them with some of the most attractive video game characters, like Mai Shiranui from the King of Fighters series. She was very pleasant. She was very professional, and I really liked her, uh, giant, um, uh, giant, uh, Forgot what I was talking about. Everybody here on this uh, Vogue team can speak out and say video game characters are in fact real. Uh, at least the ones I've talked to. And I'm not crazy. I did take my medication today. Anyways, if you're still watching this and you haven't uh, clicked off to go watch some, I don't know, some Fortnite matches or Among Us memes that I just don't understand the mentality of a lot of children nowadays. Anyways, today I'm going to interview Cami White. That's right. Cammy White from the Street Fighter series. Why? Because I really like Street Fighter. I, I bet you guys didn't even know. 31 year old man here, grown ass man, I still play video games. What? 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 You got a fucking problem? Because I like Street Fighter? Well, guess what? I like video games. It's, it's amazing how many video game characters I've interviewed. It's been an honor. It's been amazing. And I'm looking forward to doing this interview with Miss White. Cammy White. All right, everyone. I, I can't talk to you anymore. I got to get on a flight today. I got to be there in England in like less than 28 hours. I have to fly over there, go to the English Manor, 
I got to go interview Cammy White from the Street Fighter series, and I'm really excited. I hope it all goes well, and uh, wish me luck, everyone. Richard Harden is going to interview. Nobody make fun of my name, I swear. I know some of you are smirking. Nobody make fun of this name. Richard Harden is going to interview Cammy White, and it's going to be one of the best damn interviews for Vogue. All right, I'm excited. I've always wanted to meet Cammy. You know, she's pretty attractive, but I'm going to keep my personal comments to myself.